Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this um, shawl here. Now I don't have a very work, big workspace, so I'm going to move my camera. So if it gets a little bouncy, I'm sorry. I'm going to pull it out so you can see it. Right here. And you can leave the fringe off if you want. That's completely up to you. But it actually, it's pretty easy. It's a little time consuming, I, I thought. But other than that, it was it's pretty easy to do. Um, I want to take this time to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that way um, you never miss a tutorial when I put one on and if you like this video at the end after watching it if you could give this video a like and a share I'd really appreciate it but let's go ahead and get started on it okay I want to thank my friends at Red Heart for providing today's yarn for me for this project I used Red Heart Unforgettable Waves which is a medium weight 100% um, four ply acrylic yarn the color I use is called parade it's very pretty and there are a hundred and nineteen yards per skein and I went through a whole seven skeins I mean I only had like three inches left so um, if you make your fringe any any longer than mine or anything you might need you know you're gonna need another skein or if you don't even put fringe on it six would probably be enough but um, if you want to add the fringe, you definitely need seven. And if you crochet like maybe tighter or I don't know how that works, you might need more yarn than me. But I just but I use a complete seven skeins. And I will put a link below in the description box so where you can get this yarn. And don't forget to check out RedHeart.com because they got lots of free patterns on there. And then um, I used a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook okay you want to start off with a slip knot on your hook and then we're going to work a chain of four one two three four now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch here to form a ring like that and then we're going to chain one now that chain one I did does not count as anything now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work four double crochets through the center of the ring so I'm going to yarn over and go through the center of the ring and draw up a loop and then do my double crochet and I want to do that four times so that was one two three and four. Now, now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to go right back into the same loop and do four more double crochets. So there's one, two, three, and there's four. So you can pull your tail and then close up that center circle a little bit more. So what we're making is one large triangle. So that's round or row one there. So for row two, we're gonna chain one and turn our work. Now that chain one does not count as anything. So we're gonna go back into the very, very first stitch here, the very first double crochet, and we're gonna put two double crochets in it. So we're gonna go right back into it and work two doubles. So there's one. and two. Now we're going to put one double crochet in each of these three double crochets here. Now we're going to work the point of the poncho and it's going to be worked into the chain two space. So we're going to go right into that chain two space right through it and we're going to work two double crochets a chain of two and two more double crochets like that now I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. You have four, but put one double crochet into the next three. And 
and then in the last stitch we'll put two double crochets into it because we put two double crochets in the first and now we're going to put two double crochets into the last and that'll end oh got my tail in there row two and you'll have 14 stitches now if you count there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen now you're always going to have like last row we had eight you're always going to have six more stitches every row that you do there's always going to be six more stitches than the previous row so now we're going to start row three and row three is going to start the repeat okay so we're going to chain one and turn our work we're going to do a row of bobble stitches what we have to do in this very first double crochet every row no matter what row you're doing the first double crochet and the last double crochet always get two double crochet in that very first stitch so we're on row three we're going to put two double crochet into the very first stitch there's one and there's two okay now we're going to put a bobble into the next stitch so what we're going to do is I'll show you how you do the bobble you want to yarn over go into the next stitch and draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook you want to do that five times total so that was one again yarn over go into the same stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook so that's two times yarn over go into the same stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops that's three times again go through the first two that's four times one more time go through the first two loops and you should have six loops that remain yarn over and go through all six and then what you want to do is kind of pull it tight and then single crochet directly into the next stitch and that's the bobble the bobble is worked we're working on the back side of our work now the bobbles worked on the back side because when you turn it around to the right side the bobble pops out so again we're going to work the bobble into the next stitch so we're going to yarn over and go right into it and draw up the loop and yarn over go through the first two loops and you want to do that five times so that was one two three four five six loops that remain yarn over and go through all six give it a tug and then single crochet into the next stitch and we're going to keep repeating this here until we get over here to the chain two so we got one more bobble here to do right here into the next stitch Six loops. Yarn over, go through all six. Give a little tug. Single crochet right here into this last double crochet. Now we got to work the point. Now the point on the bobble stitch row is different than the other ones. So what we're going to do is go right into it, this space, the chain two space, and work a bobble right through the chain two space.
six loops, yarn over, go through all six, pull it tight. Now we're still working in the chain two space, so you might want to slide that bobble over. What we're going to do is single crochet into the chain two space, like that, and then we're going to chain two, and that's going to make the next point space, and we're going to work in the same chain two space again, single crochet again, and then work another bobble into the same chain two space. So it's a little tight, but we got to do it that way for it to work out. So go right in and do another bobble into that chain two space. So it was a bobble and a single crochet and then a chain two, a single crochet, and then another bobble all into the chain two space. Yarn over, go through all six loops, pull it tight, and now we're going to single crochet right here into the very first stitch. Make sure you pull your bobble back. you got to get that very first one, otherwise it won't turn out right. Single crochet right into that. And now we're just going to continue our bobble pattern here up here until we get to the end. So we'll bobble into the next stitch. like that yeah. and then single crochet into the yeah. next like that and now we're going to bobble into the next the bobble row, row is a row that takes the longest I think single crochet into the next and then you got two stitches here bobble into the next now instead of single crocheting into that last stitch go ahead and yarn over and go through all those six Instead of single crocheting into the last, we're going to work, since it's the last stitch, two double crochets into the last one. Always two double in the first and always two double into the last. And that will end row three. And now you should have a total of 20 stitches, so if you count, and that's counting your, your double crochets and your bobbles and your single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. It's hard to count them. Ten. Chain two. Okay, I got my twenty. And it, if it looks kind of flipped over, that's fine. That's kind of how every time you do the bobble stitch row, it's going to kind of look like that. But that's fine. It'll straighten out when we do the next row. Row four. You chain one and turn your work. So now you're on the right side of your work and your bobbles are all popped out. So row four, we're going to two double crochet into the same stitch, the very first stitch. Always two double crochets in the first, always two double crochets into the last, like that. And now we're gonna put one double crochet in every stitch until we get here to our chain two space. So we wanna put one double crochet into this next double crochet right here. You want to make sure you don't miss it. This one right here. And then one double crochet into the top of the next bobble. So if you kind of flip it over, you can kind of see. Just go right through the top of it like that. And then you have to put a double crochet into that single crochet right down here. double crochet into the top of the next bobble double crochet in that next single so it's just one double crochet in every stitch top of the next bobble next single next bobble 
and now we're at our this is our chain two space here so we went in we went on top of the bobble that was in our chain two space we got to make sure we go into the single crochet here that we put into our chain two space from that last round like that double crochet and then in the chain two space right here you got to put Go right through the space and work two doubles. We're doing our point again. Another chain two, and then two more doubles. Just like that. Now make sure you get that the next single crochet here from the previous row, the first one here. You don't want to miss it because then your count won't be right. Sometimes that one's easy to miss. Like I just did. And then double crochet into the top of the next bobble. And we're just going to repeat this until we get to the end of the row here. Double crochet into the next single crochet, into the next bobble, the next single. The next bobble, the next single, the next bobble, and now we're where we put the, we're at our two double crochet that we put into the last stitch on the previous round, double crochet into the next double crochet, and then two double crochets into the last double crochet. Now that was, this is round four, and you should have a total of 26 stitches now at the end of round four, so you can count them. Twenty-six. Always good to count at the end of every row because it's easy to miss stitches, especially on that bobble row. I learned that the hard way. I wasn't counting, and I was having a hard time. But now, 26 stitches to end of row 4, because we had 20 the previous row, it's always 6 more. Okay, for row 5, we're going to chain 1 and turn our work. Now we're going to put 2 double cro regular double crochet right here into the very first stitch. So 2 double crochet right into the first stitch. And now we're going to put 1 front post double crochet in every stitch until we get to our chain two space. So the front post double is we just yarn over and we go right around the post of the next stitch. Instead of working into the top we work around the post of the stitch like that and then we do our double crochet. Front post double crochet and around into the next stitch. So I'm going to do a front post double around every stitch until I get to the chain two space. Just like that. Okay, I'm coming to my chain two space here. I got a front post double around that last stitch there. And now into the chain two space, I'm gonna work two double crochets, regular doubles. Chain of two and two more doubles right back into the same space just like that now i'm going to continue working one back or front post double crochet around every stitch until i get back to the beginning or until i get to the end of the row i'm sorry until i get to my last stitch here front post double around every stitch okay I'm coming to the end here and I got one more stitch I got a back post double or front post double around I'm sorry Front post double crochet 
and then the very last stitch you want to put two regular double crochets in top of the very last stitch and that'll end row five and you should have a total of 32 stitches now at the end of row five so you want to make sure you count And I do. Row six, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and now you can see by doing the front post, we made this ridge here. That's what created that. Now we're going to put one, two double crochets into the very, very first stitch, just like always. And now we're going to put one double crochet in the top of every stitch until we get to our chain two space. So this is row six, just one double crochet in every stitch. Okay, when you make it to your chain two space, we're going to work right through the chain two space, two doubles into the chain two space, chain two, and then two more doubles. And then we're going to continue working one double crochet in every stitch until we get to the end here, until we get to our last stitch. So just like that, one double in every stitch until you get to your last stitch. Okay, when you make it here to your last stitch, you want to make sure you put two double crochets into the last stitch. And that'll end row six. And now you should have six more stitches in the previous row. So you should have a total of 38 stitches now. You want to make sure you count to make sure you have 38. And we'll start row seven by chaining one and turning. Two double crochets into the very, very first stitch. And then we're going to chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one double crochet into the next and we're going to repeat this till we get to our chain two space so chain one skip one and double crochet into the next chain one skip double crochet chain one skip one double crochet chain one skip one double crochet chain one skip one double crochet right here now there is no more stitches to skip before you get to the chain two space so at this last one we do not chain one we just go directly into the chain two space and work two doubles a chain of two and two more doubles And then we go directly to the next stitch. We don't chain one yet and put a double crochet into it. And now we chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. And we just do this until we get to our last stitch. Okay, when you come up here to the end of row seven, I have two stitches left there. So I want to make, I want to chain one, skip this one, and I'm going to put two double crochets into the last stitch. So make sure you're chaining one here after this last one. Skip this one, 
two doubles into the last. Now you should have 44 stitches and that is including these chain one spaces. So you count one, two, and then this space is three, this stitch is four, space is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, to one, twenty-two, and then again you should have forty-four counting the chain one spaces. So that was six more than the last round. Okay, round eight, we're gonna or row eight, we're gonna chain one and turn. And now we're gonna work two double crochet into the very first stitch. Two double or one double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the next chain one space. So just go right through the space and double crochet and it's just one double crochet in every stitch and in every chain one space so double crochet into the top of the next stitch double crochet in the chain one space the next stitch and the next chain one space and we're going to do this until we get to our point to our next chain two space. One double crochet in every stitch and every chain one space. Okay when you get to the chain two space it's just two double crochet, chain of two, and two more double crochet. And now we'll continue putting one double crochet in every stitch and in every chain one space until we get to the last stitch. So one double crochet in every stitch and then one in this chain one space and then into the next stitch and then into the next chain one space all the way until you get to the end. Okay, I'm coming to the end here and I double crocheted into that chain one space. I got two double crochets left. Put one double crochet into the next and two double crochets into the last. And that'll end row eight and you should have 50 stitches now, six more than the previous row. And now it's just a repeat. So we're gonna chain one and turn. So now it's a repeat of rows three through eight. So you would just start again working your bobble row would be the next row because the bobble row was row three. So we repeat rows three through eight and we just keep repeating those rows. So the bobble stitch row is just two double crochets into the very first stitch and then we worked a bobble into the next stitch single crochet into the next and then bobble again so I'm just repeating what we did in row three and single into the next and if you flip it you can see your bobbles start to form again now remember they're always going to look kind of funny until you put the next row on but that's it. It's just repeating rows three through eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now I'm starting back over repeating row three again. And every row, remember, is going to have six more stitches than the time before. Now you can make this as big as you want. I did a total of 30. If you want to make it bigger, you can. You just need more yarn than what I said in the beginning. But but if you want to do it like mine, keep repeating rows 3 through 8 for a total of 30. Okay, now to add the fringe, 
you can add it any way that you want you can also make it as thicker you know as you want I took this how I did mine I took uh, th three pieces of yarn they're probably about um, 18 to 24 inches long each now what you do is I'm just gonna start in a first stitch up here at the top and you must you want to have the right side of your work facing you so go into that first stitch I just take my hook that's how I do it from the underside like that and then grab all three of my yarn yarn pieces and pull through just part of the way and then grab them like that and then line them up here at the bottom so these both ends are lined up and then take the ends grab them and pull them through your loop like that that's my tail there I gotta hide that but so that's how you do the fringe so I'll go ahead and do it again now um, if you want it longer or shorter that's fine and if you want to add more than three pieces of yarn you can it's up to you just remember though when you put three pieces in and you fold it over it'll be six pieces whenever you pull it back through so then what I'm doing is skipping two stitches so skip skip and then in the next one I'm gonna do the same thing so I'll put my hook through there from the underneath side grab my three pieces of yarn and pull it through that stitch not all the way and then grab it like that and then these get lined up at the ends here kind of like that and then grab them and pull them through the loop and pull it tight just like that and again I'll do the same thing go ahead and I skip two stitches now again if you want to skip more stitches you can but this is just I'm just skipping two and then I'll go into the next one pull my put my hook through pull my three pieces of yarn through like that set my hook down put my fingers through there then line up these ends here you don't have to be exact but get them lined up as good as you can like that and then pull them through the loop just like that and then when you get done you can trim all up all your fringe even with a pair of nice pair of sharp scissors so I'm gonna do that down both sides okay once you get the fringe put on that is it that is all there is to it um, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I hope you were able to follow along okay sorry I don't have much of a workspace to lay it out on but for you to see it but there we go if you make this or anything else I'd really like to see a picture of it you can post a picture on my bag of day crochet Facebook page I'll put a link to that below in the description box and don't forget to check out all my other tutorials and until next time have a good day